the Twisted Metal with Captain Thunder. I'm your host, Captain Thunder. The next couple hours, I'll be your personal tour guide through the fastest week in NASCAR. Joined as always by my partner, Gene Lasker. How about that? Hey, oh, hey, oh, I, I, I want to thank you, Thunder. I, I'm going through your paperwork here, and you got some World Outlaw stuff on your paperwork. I do? Yeah. Talk about shot wreck, smokes, World Outlaw car. Oh, yeah, he did. He wrecked, uh, he wrecked Smoke's World of Outlaws car, and Smoke was supposed to race in, I think, Idaho or Iowa. He's got 30 cars, man. It can't be just... I, mean, yeah, how, I thought about it, too. How does he, why did he miss a race? Because one of his cars got wrecked. Yeah, I mean, he's got 30. Knoxville main event. Chats was involved in a crash that damaged the car beyond repair Yeehaw. and forced Stewart to scrap his plans of racing Sunday night. Uh, Shots had intended on driving his own car at Who Sets, or Hustets, however you say it, and the pair were to be joined by... Uh, Jessica, Jessica Zemkin, Dort's main squeeze, squeezer, who, who beat Lasker, barely. She she kicked her ass. She really kicked my ass by marrying him, hooked up with him now. <laughs> now she got real good part. I kind of got a message from your boy Bard, sent me the music you wanted to use for the show tonight. Oh, dude, man! And, and, and I, had, I got had your... some friends over, and uh, we watched the uh, Lady Gaga concert. So you you had Richard Simmons over. Who uh, else? I'm was in with love you? with her. Yeah? What are you kidding me? She's yes. ugly, dude. Dude, she's she got a is nose most amazing that thing in the world. Anybody out there knows her? She could dance. Me up with dance. She can play that piano. Plays the guitar. No, that's what you were telling me that she. Uh, dude, she was playing the harp. Like plays a lot of instruments. Yeah, that's what puts her apart from everybody. I don't know, dude. It doesn't matter if you I'm love not, him. Oh, there no. you go. Capital H I M. L- listen to that, man. But I'm going to pump this that through my helmet when I race. Thunder. Just put your paws this, what, what Could is you this? imagine that? You were born this imagine what? That noise in your helmet while you were going down the back straightaway. It drives me fucking insane. I pull oh, right, right in the racing. wall. I'd be racing hard. Another one. Here we go. Ah, I like Here that. Here we go. Craig, come on. Give us some volume there, button boy. Pump this now. Oh, Last man. Last I want you to dance. If we're going to play it, you got to dance. Come on. Let's see you dance. That's good stuff right there, Come ain't on, it? man. Get up, move a little bit. No way. Come on. I'm not dancing for Shake you. Shake that ass. Let me see what you Boy, got. Let me tell you something. She got it all, man. She's a real, real good dancer. With Captain Thunder and Gene Lasker. What's up, guys? What's Lasker, up, bud? You're a homo for listening to Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you listen to? Not Lady Gaga. Man, that Hallelujah. Was, that concert was... Just, man, it was a It's twisted part. metal, You're not twisted homos. I'm losing my man card yeah, over. Yeah, no doubt. Man, she's hot as hell, man. She was wearing a bikini she is not hot. most of the whole night. Dude, she wears meat dresses. Could you imagine Dude, taking she got her out an ass from hell, dress man. Man. You don't think you don't think she's got a nice ass? No, she's got a nice she's got a great okay, body. Okay then. Yeah, she's got a great body. Great body. Hairdo was kinda like off to the left field, but the rest of her was I mean I cut her hair off and fixed that. I'm telling you, she's got a nose that goes for days like Jimmy Durant. Oh, man. <laughs> Harvick actually went to Bush's hauler after. Now, now this is between the time he gets out of the car and, and Bush pushes his car down pit road. Right. And he goes to the NASCAR hauler. So in that window. Okay, yeah, but because he, he went, he didn't, go, he didn't even think nothing about the hauler. He was headed straight to Bush. He went to Bush's trailer. Right. With helmet and, on and all. Because he wasn't even taking and, his helmet he, off yet. Well, by this time he had his helmet off. Oh, but, he had but, helmet but, off. But he off. tried to start a fight. With the entire 18 team crew, all of them, He's and he told man. them they all they all were a bunch of fucking pussies. Yeehaw! <laughs> all right, uh, and no one would fight him. And then he went to the NASCAR hauler. So you can read that story. It's on uh, CaptainThunderRacing.com. On your uh, music selection, uh, would you describe Lady Gaga's music as fierce? Fierce? Yeah. Would you say no, it's, fierce? it's not fierce? It's like. Um, I don't know. I'd describe it as disco myself. Disco? Disco. Uh, I don't know. Dance music? I never heard of dance music. Yeah, dance music. What's your what point, Jim? Dale, what would Dale Sr. say to you? Yeah, uh, he'd be pissed. <laughs> he'd say, you little faggot, Lasker. He would. We don't play that you, shit. he call you little faggot. Yeah. But I can't help I like it. I'm sorry. You know why you like it? Uh, yeah, you're going to tell me, right? Little bitch. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was. Not, it wasn't going anywhere good. Here we come to the flag. He's Regan got Smith I think looking he's got for him. his first Sprint Cup win. Edwards, he's two car length flag. Smith gets the flag, and this time he'll get to keep it. How about that? I love you guys, man. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Reagan Smith, welcome to Twisted Metal with Captain Thunder and Gene Lasker, and congratulations, you are the Southern 500 winner. 
Oh man, it's uh, that video never gets old to listen to, and, and certainly hearing people say the Southern 500 winner never gets old to hear either. It's uh, what a great week it's been. You know, I uh, I didn't ever imagine after Talladega it would take this long to get one, um, but uh, I certainly am uh, am I'm proud and happy for my team. It seemed like to me that you know watching when they showed him in the pit box and he had that clipboard and the way he was holding it and moving him and the way he was watching you and the way he was pushing the clipboard like telling you to move up i couldn't he i didn't know if he was saying something over over your radio talking to you or not but the way he was pushing the board and, and then he stood up and got out of his seat and then afterwards when you won and he looked over you could just see his face he was like man like the kid finally did his job <laughs> that's what that, that's what it looked Jeez. like uh, that's what it looked well, like i, I swear sure to you the guy that definitely and then I, hey, I was thinking that. Yeah, I, I was like, man, I finally did my job. Right. I won a race. You know, this is what I was supposed to get paid to do. I'm surprised it took 105 starts for this. <laughs> He calls well, you to that's, that's, that's what I paid for. Oh, I know. I mean, you, you should, know, you I should, love all you guys. You should, okay. it, it, well, you know, Bubba, when Bubba's on the air, nothing else it matters. That that airtime to him is that's his business and that's his livelihood, and that's everybody else's livelihood. But I wouldn't be here if I wasn't uh, part of the Bubba the Love Sponge when deal. When you're in the paint booth, it nags. What I know, but what I, what, I, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to get me one of them Madonna hookups where you put that little strap around your ear and you got that little microphone. <laughs> and and yes, that way I can yes. hear it buzzing in my ear. Because it doesn't Ooh. matter. When it oh, comes to Bubba the Love Sponge, it's him first and we're nothing. You know, he's the king and we're nothing. He makes hey, me listen, he makes I, say I that to him sometimes. Thank you. You're on. You're on. Like you said, I'm Doc Miller. I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida. My dad was a racing fan. Took me to the old Phillips Field, which I think you and Alaska would be familiar with. It was a quarter mile flat track. Doc, tell us about tell us about uh, Hewitt at Indy. At Indy with Hewitt. Because this has got yeah. fighting in yeah. it. Hewitt had a reputation of being the worst fighter. Uh, in racing when he ran the the all-stars sprint car series he paid the hundred dollar fine when he signed in the pits <laughs> uh, i just read something that uh, kenny schrader just uh, said about him they showed a picture of the two of them racing midgets and he said boy that he would race you hard but he'd race you clean and if you had anything to say to him after the race you better be real careful how you worded it <laughs> yes you do so uh, we were at indy and this reporter, uh, well, our line dyke had said these rookies can't drive. So this one reporter comes in our garage and says, uh, our line dyke said you can't drive. He said, who cares what that faggot said? <laughs> so that reporter runs back to our line dyke and says, uh, Hewitt called you a faggot. So they had a driver's meeting down on the front straightaway. And after the driver's meeting, our line dyke came up to Hewitt and said, did you call me a faggot? Hewitt says, did you say I couldn't drive? And Ari pushed him, and Jack decked him and knocked him down in between some bushes and just walked away, walked back. And that's just modus operandi with Hewitt. He, he didn't even say anything about it when he got back to the garage. Right, so, why, right why talk about yeah. it? Just take care of business and go on with it and forget about it. And everything's good. So all these reporters rushed in the garage and said, Jack, did you really hit Ari Leindyke? He said, I didn't hit Ari Leindyke. You just bitch slapped somebody like that. <laughs> you watch that driver, you know? if, he, if you stuck him in a room full of a bunch of people, would you say, pick the driver? No, you I, wouldn't pick no. him. I would say he's like a, a, a CPA or something. Yeah. Or an out of shape one. Or a chiropractor. I, 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 I don't know if I can uh, save that. Not with your slow motion ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not with my slow motion ass. <laughs> <laughs> every after every one of your segments, you don't hear it because you hang up. But as soon as you hang up, Lasker rips right. you for being a slow you can talk. Get off in life, you you gotta speed up. <laughs> you can't get off in life. How are you surviving this while I'm talking I mean, as slow? Thank as you do, God. KJ? You know that you know. You know. Are you? Are you, are you, are you, you know. You're, you're a God person too. You believe in God? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, you, you thank Him for putting you in a good family because if He wasn't, you'd be fucked. <laughs> 
No, I, I disagree with that, but I do think you think you think you could you think you could have been an orphan like me and made it to somewhere. Tell I'm gonna get you speeded up before I'm over my career, okay? <laughs> I promise. What, what can I change the setup? I mean. Can I, what can I change to speed up a little bit? Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to understand me if I You know what? I, and truthfully, if you listen to this segment right now, you speed it up. Yes, definitely. You speed yeah. it up. Yeah, just oh, keep yeah. Yeah, trying to keep up with it. You speed it I up. Think, I think you were awake this week. Think Maybe about it. Week you I, away. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what it was. I've been, I've been late for everything today, so I'm in a hurry. So maybe I just need to be late. Every you know, day. why don't you just shut up while you were ahead? <laughs> <laughs>